Hey everyone, the real Stacy Jane here, and I wanted to show you what I was working on today. Uh, so I qualified this little 5 volt 4 amp switcher that I'm going to be including with the wireless power kit. And uh, one of the disadvantages of this type of oscillator is it requires a very sharp turn on voltage, so uh, simple switch. Not a whole lot to see there, sorry about that. So I'm going to plug her in and show you some of the toys I made today. So the purpose of this exercise is to start with something really simple. So everything you're going to see is air core transformer technology. So there's one of those little tap lights. So turn on the turn on the power supply and I'll turn the light on. And there you go. So you can see that it comes in and out of range. Now these could be magnetic, you could have a peanut shaped coil or multiple exciters. Put them anywhere you want. Um, I'll show you what's inside of it. Uh, this is a this is actually an untuned example. There's so much power going out here. It's a 20 watt adapter. We're putting out about six watts nominally until it's loaded. But underneath, you can see there's literally just eight turns of wire around the perimeter, sealed in tape, and uh, current limiting resistor in series. I had to up it a little bit because we're getting about 18 volts AC, and the LEDs are, of course, the rectifier, resonant at 270 kilohertz, give or take. Um, the other thing I did was to show that you can do real work with these things. So here's one of those little robots, uh, Bristlebot, I believe it's called. So he's not too smart. He's just an eccentric rotating mass a haptic feedback device. And uh, you can do them both at the same time, it doesn't matter, uh, that won't hurt anything. Um, now, what's inside the robot, see he's still vibrating in my hand, uh, see it's just uh, two tuning capacitors. What's different about this guy is uh, to tune this circuit, I did the parallel LC tank, tuned it, and then went ahead and uh, put a Schottky diode in series to bring power into the motor. Uh, that's just because this is a permanent magnet DC motor, it expects DC, so Schottky diode, halfway rectified, uh, would be a lot more powerful, but way too much power for this tiny little thing. And the last, but not least, is uh, this you've seen before. Let me just straighten this up a little bit. Uh, this is... Ah. So this is actually a 120 volt AC LED light bulb. In the base, I have a full wave rectifier and two mica tuning capacitors, Q of about 2600. These are kind of expensive. I don't recommend anybody do this because you will shock yourself. It's rather painful. Sets so an ultra fast set 400 or 7 or 400 or 1000 volt rectifier, suitable for the 270 kilohertz we're running at. But yeah, I can get an inch away or so and it just works. Move it around anywhere I want. So this is one of those little 7-watt LED lamps. I'm just uh, driving the ballast. Now keep in mind we are running this from 5 volts at, what is it, 5 volts at 4 amps. It's probably, uh, well, it's not hurting for anything. So uh, that's all. Real Stacy Jane here, signing out once again.